You see, India is the land of mysticism. The land of all the avatar and the incarnating, incarnating India. So it's a land which is blessed even before Jesus himself, Alexander the Great. Why do you think he had this great urge to go to India? You know, he wanted to experience the land of sages. He wanted to experience the land of yogis. So India in itself, it's a blessed place with the heart. And uh, people say, like the question is asked, you know, whether Jesus went to India. Maybe he traveled to India, but uh, he never himself, I, I don't believe that he went to India personally. But John the Baptist went to India and learned the way of asceticism from the yogis, from the saints. There is even proof in Ladakh, for example, that kid, because you see in Ladakh they have the, one of the oldest uh, library in, in, uh, in the world actually, who have books which is uh, 3,000 years old. So there they have the registration, what I can call it like that. They have registration, but there was somebody from the West that came to study. And also the yogis in the Himalayas, of course, you see, like he said, he was preparing the way for Jesus. So he had to, to train himself. So, for example, when we analyze John, what he was doing, he was baptizing. Yes or no? Yes. Not the only thing he did. He didn't preach nothing, he didn't teach nothing, but he was just baptizing. And when we analyze that concept itself, what is baptism? Baptism stands for cleansing, no? purifying. If we look in India, whenever the people go to the Ganges, what do they do first? You can all answer. Huh? They take free dip, not more, free dip in the Ganges. And that is not now only. This has been done for centuries, long before. Even in the time of Krishna, when you read the Bhagavad Gita, you will see. But when they will go to the Ganges, they will take credit out into the holy river for the purification of body, mind, and spirit. And till today, in India, we do it daily, this purification. When you start prayer, for example, first thing that you do, you sip three times water. It's also for purification, cleansing. So through that link, Jesus had the, 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 the connection. Then after that, after the baptism, what he did? He went to the mountain. No? He was in a cave. Meditating, praying, <coughs> and this is also a very great tradition which comes from the East because it's not common to this to to appear. So, and today we was we were looking, you know, when we went to this uh, place here where he appeared the fourth time and then uh, they catch the fish, 153 you know? and then they were saying that the, the name, what, what name did they say? Um, I can't remember the name. 
So the number 153 stands for God. I am God. I am God. No? I am God. The concept of I am God, which means Aham Brahmashtami. That's what it is. And the concept that I am God, daily you are saying it. If you listen to your breathing, for example, listen carefully to your breathing in and out. What are you, your breathing saying? So, hum. I am that. So that essence of the divine is also inside of you. But transcending the mind, that essence will reveal itself. If the mind is very active, that essence won't reveal itself. 